Hello again, you're watching Everard Junction and this is a quick layout update. Um, the weather's been quite nice recently so I haven't done a huge amount on the layout. I've been outside and working on other things. Um, but I have done a few bits and pieces so I thought I'd do a quick update. Um, also got a new loco which I'll quickly show you. And uh, there's a couple of new cars as well which I picked up for the layout. Um, the first thing I'll show you is uh, I've got everything, well most trains are parked up now in the uh, in the TMB, it's looking quite busy now, looking quite good. Uh, most of these are weathered now, uh, with the exception of the new arrival. Uh, this is uh, another Backman uh, Class 47. This is a Network Southeast Class 47. And the number is 47715, and it's called Haymarket. Very nice model, as are all the Backman 47s. Um, you can see the other ones I have here, so I have uh, a 47 in uh, Rail Freight Red Stripe livery, mostly for freight, but uh, they did work the old passenger in that colour. The Network South East one, obviously, Intercity one, and uh, my BR large loco one. Um, they're all weathered, except the new one, because I've only had it a couple of days. It's just been run in. And they look uh, quite impressive, all parked together in the uh, TMD. It's nice as well because they're all they're all slightly different. You know, so for example, this one has the larger fuel tanks underneath. Um, this one is got different front ends because it was designed for push pull because it was originally a, a Scottish based locomotive. Uh, this one has the shorter fuel tanks and is a uh, 47/4, and that one's the same sort of thing as well. So they're all sort of slightly different, which is quite nice. Uh, picked up a couple of new cars. Um, I've got another Jaguar. This is a quite nice blue one. Um, I've got four of these now. There's a police car. Um, I've got a red one and I've got a green one. Um, they're quite nice. Um, I've also got uh, some of the new uh, Oxford Diecast Morris Marinas. These have only been out uh, a few days, a few weeks rather. Um, they're really nicely done. Um, they're only available in the uh, two colours you see here at the moment. Um, I might take one apart and see how easy it is to respray it and I could have uh, a small fleet of Morris Marinas, which would be quite funny. I've got a few trains running at the moment, the HST is uh, having a run, hasn't been run for quite a while. Uh, the 31 is pulling the intercity coaches just over there. Um, the 56 is coming the other way and there's also a DMU running at the moment as well. Um, so probably the biggest change that you haven't seen is the new platforms. Um, you would have seen these briefly in the last video I did when I weathered that uh, Class 108 that's just going over there. Um, I redid these about a month or two ago. Uh, I wasn't too happy uh, with the wooden ones. The wooden ones were good, um, but they were a little bit boring to look at. There wasn't any detail in the sides and there was no, there was no overhang, you know, the lip that you have at the edge. They didn't have that. Um, that would have been quite difficult to sort of make. Um, using the solid wooden pieces as I don't have the necessary machines um, to do it properly. Um, so in the end I decided to redo the uh, platforms entirely and I think they've come out really quite well. Um, they're not finished yet um, but the basics are built. So these platforms, uh, believe it or not, um, the canopies may have given it away but believe it or not they're actually made out of the plastic grey Hornby platforms that you can get. You know this sort of stuff that you always see in the shops I had a lot of this left over from the old layout, so I thought it would be quite a good idea to repurpose it and reuse it. I mean, they're not particularly sort of cheap, you know, it's quite expensive. Um, I've had them for a long time, so I thought, well, you know what, let's just make use of them. And so I joined them all together, um, glued them all together so they wouldn't come apart, and then used uh, some filler, some humble model filler, just to go over the gaps um, in the joins, so you can't actually see where each section starts and the other begins gives the effect that it's a continuous continuous concrete piece as you can see. I've given the effect of the slabs at the edge using my concrete paint and then there's the white line as well. Uh, you'll probably get a better look of it here. So you've got the, the slabs in the uh, sort of beige type colour, you know, the concrete's in the centre and then the white lines at the edge. And the sides have been livened up a bit with uh, brick plastic card. Um, it's been painted and dulled down a little bit from the original plastic finish you get um, and uh, it looks quite nice, looks quite good. 
The canopies themselves are the, uh, the Hornby ones that you can buy. Um, the ones with the uh, green stands and the, uh, the sort of self-coloured yellow plastic tops. Um, I painted the canopies in a sort of off-white colour to match how the canopies sort of look in the sort of redding sort of area, Paddington redding, one of the sort of colours they you see around there. And I've gone for the uh, Network Southeast red um, stands and just painted those with some rail match paint. They come out quite nicely and it just makes the platforms a bit more interesting as trains go past. I've still just got the uh, the one signal working at the moment over here. And we'll be adding more soon. Um, I need to order some uh, more signals from Hattons. Um, I've got pretty much everything else that I need. Uh, the other thing I did, um, which you can't really see very easily, um, it was quite a big job. Um, but basically, there's always been a bit of a sort of hill on this scenic section. It's always uh, gone up like that towards the end. It was never massive, um, but because of the way it sort of arced up at the end, um, meant that the uh, the sort of gradients on the helixes were a little bit extreme at the end. Um, certain items of stock would um, would derail or uncouple on occasion um, when they just crested the hill and went onto the flat um, part of the scenic section. Um, so what I did was I, I went under the baseboards and I chopped a couple of mil out of the legs that hold up that particular end of the scenery. That dropped it all down a little bit. Um, then because it was dropped down a bit, I could then make sort of from there around the corner, I could make that much more sort of relaxed. So the helix is its ordinary gradient. And then when it gets to about here, it relaxes quite considerably until it's almost flat around here. And then it joins the scenery. Just makes the trains run a little smoother as they enter the scenic section. Um, there's an issue that was bugging me for quite a while. I just couldn't get around to doing it because it was a bit of a difficult job having to uh, get in the corner of the house under the helix um, but I've done it now and uh, it does it does look a lot better um, having been around the layout so much obviously I notice every little bump and gradient yeah. that you'll never notice on the video um, but this is now much flatter um, it's, you know, it's perfectly flat I've measured it with the uh, spirit level it's a lot better now uh, the motorway is still the same um, I still haven't painted the markings yet because I've run out of uh, white paint and to get a little bit more um, there's that Jaguar uh, XJS police car I was mentioning earlier. Um, so yeah, I need to put a few more cars, I think, on the uh, other side there. Um, all the trucks are the same. I was going to weather some of the trucks, so I still haven't got round to doing that yet. Um, that's another job to do. I'm going to be ordering uh, some more LEDs as well to get on with the uh, coach lighting. Um, still a lot of coaches left to light. Um, this HST is all completely lit. Um, the coaches the Class 31 is pulling as well, they're all lit as well. Um, but the Network Southeast uh, rakes, my two Network Southeast rakes over there, um, none of those are lit yet, so that's going to be quite a long job. There's quite a bit of detail I'd like to add in here as well, which I need to get round to. Um, I've, I've done the fence, but it's not finished yet. Uh, I want to add a bit more fencing. Um, I need to sort out some stuff to put in the background between warehouses on the left and the warehouse on the right and I also need to uh, perhaps start on doing the, uh, the scenery in the big corner over here. At the moment I just sort of use it as a workbench because there isn't a lot of places up here to put stuff so I, I keep my scenery and stuff over there for now. Well that's uh, pretty much everything um, so I'll leave you with that. Um, I'll just show you a quick few shots of the new 47. Uh, just running behind one of the rakes of uh, my Network Southeast coaches. Um, and I should have another video up fairly soon.